Hey everybody, so uh, I'm using my lapel microphone or lavalier, whichever way you want to call it. I think it's pretty much the same shit. Uh, well, that's what it said on the website anyway. <laughs> they called it both a lapel and a lavalier microphone, but uh, yeah, I wish I could adjust the exposure right now, but the sun's going to be coming up brighter. It's, you know, like 8.30 in the morning right now, so sun's going to be creeping up a little bit more here pretty soon and i'd have to adjust the exposure again anyway so sorry if the auto exposure is getting on y'all's nerves or whatever but uh I, this is the best thing i could do right now because i'm not doing different scenes or whatever you know so this ain't going to be like a this ain't going to be like one of our regular vlogs uh, i mean not vlogs this ain't going to be like one of our regular uh hunting tour episodes where we're you know where i have the exposure locked and everything i usually have the exposure locked and uh of course i do use the um the autofocus but the bad thing about that dslr i have is it's an amazing camera i love it but the thing i do not like about it is the autofocus fucking sucks it it sucks i mean like the the reason why i don't like it is because daytime no problem whatsoever nighttime you try to take a, a even a photo it doesn't want to focus it has a really hard time i mean it takes amazing night photos um i mean even without even having to set it on a long exposure it still takes pretty good images even on a low iso uh i mean i could set the iso around between 200 to 400 and it still looks good but at nighttime when I try to take photos I have to use a laser pointer which I actually bought on Amazon a while back I had to buy this laser pointer in order to actually uh, get my camera to focus now this laser pointer is powerful as hell guys um, it's a high powered it's not one of those little cheap ones you get at Walmart for like a few dollars this is one of those super high powered laser pointers that you can actually shine it into the sky and you can actually see the beam like, you know how you see in movies where, like, let's say some secret agent is trying to get into a safe and they got lasers all over the place? That's how bright it is. You could literally see the laser beam. Like, no bullshit. I'm serious. That's how freaking bright that thing is. Um, and this ain't even one of the brightest ones. They had some on there that were even brighter than this one. I think this one's like five megawatts? I think it's megawatts. I think that's what it said. Um... I think it's five don't quote me on that i'm not 100 percent sure i can't 100 percent guarantee that but i think it said five megawatts um but yeah i have to use that thing now i got the green one because i heard that the green one's brighter than the red they have a red one as well but the red one's not as good so i was wondering why i don't even use the the red uh because they're the same price so why the fuck would i want to get one that's you know not even as bright the green one i have okay let's see i wish i can give you all a good a good estimate but it's gonna be a little difficult down here um okay basically hmm. all right well i'll just give you all a number it could probably shine probably around five miles i'm guessing uh it's probably going to be able to shine somewhere around five miles i've actually shined it into the sky and actually saw the laser beam on the clouds that's how fucking bright this thing is um it's great for astronomy so if, you know let's say you're wanting to show somebody a certain uh, constellation or whatever you could use the laser pointer and actually use it to guide in the sky and it'll actually you'll actually be able to see the laser pointer and i'll have to show you all in a video later I'll have to, to get a video later and, and lower the exposure down as low as possible so that way y'all can see the laser beam really, really good. And I can show y'all how bright this thing is. It, it can shine way up into the sky. It's fucking awesome. But the um, reason why I wanted to make this video is I know I said a while back I was wanting to start making more videos and everything. Um, but the reason why I haven't been making any more videos is, uh, well, for two reasons. One of the reasons is, is that I've been ha still having a lot of trouble with my breathing and everything. 
I'm sure you already know that. I've already mentioned that a lot in my previous videos. I've still been having a lot of trouble breathing and I just haven't felt like getting out anywhere. I haven't really wanted to go out anywhere. I've just been staying around home, just watching videos and everything um, and playing video games. Um, but then the second reason is that I haven't really had any ideas. Like I, I can't come up with any new ideas of what to vlog on or what to make videos on. And when I was with Elmer and Natalie, they made all the plans. Like me, I'm just a tech guy. I just handled the, the camera, the lights, the sound, the, you know, the editing. I did all that shit. I did all the technical stuff. Natalie was our navigation. She's the one that showed us, you know, she used the navigation to get us to places. And then Elmer was the one that did the research on the places. Uh, and then he also was the one that did the, uh, the narration. Like would, you know, he would be like the host of the hunting tour. Um, and that's, you know, kind of one of the reasons why I haven't been making any videos. For one thing, I'm not that guy. I'm not, I'm not the guy that comes up with those types of ideas. I'm the guy that does all the tech. So I need Elmer and Natalie. And since I haven't been able to make videos with them because of the pandemic, it's made it kind of difficult for me to make more vlogs and stuff. So I'm going to make this video short. It's been going for six minutes, so I'm going to try to cut this pretty short. But yeah, that's the main reason why I wanted to make this video. Um, and as you guys can tell, it's pretty cloudy today. <laughs> It's pretty damn cloudy. Uh, of course, it's still morning, so it might get sunny later. This is Texas, so, you know, <laughs> Texas weather is the most bipolar weather on the damn planet. But yeah, guys, so hopefully you guys can hear me good on this microphone. I mean, I've tested it in wind before, and it sounded pretty good, but hopefully it, it works okay. But uh, anyway, guys, so I'm probably going to go ahead and say peace. Uh, can't think of anything else to say. I'm going to try to start making more vlogs if I can. I mean, if you guys want to hear more vlogs about me just talking about my life, I'll do it. Uh, just tell you all about my daily life, um, activities, my cooking, uh, you know, my video games, all that stuff. I'll try to, to do that stuff. But the reason why I haven't done it in the past is because I kind of felt like you guys wouldn't even want to watch it anyway. I mean, why would y'all care? I'm not popular or anything. I'm not a popular YouTuber. And most people only want to watch people if they're like really popular and everything. So, I mean, if you guys want us to, I'll, I'll try to start making vlogs. Uh, I'll even start because I'm gonna be able to hang out with Elmer and Natalie by April, because um, I already got my COVID-19 vaccination. Um, and I know a lot of people have been saying, oh, you know, why would you want to get it? You know, it's still like, you know, there's still no 100% guarantee and all that shit. Well, I, I don't mind taking chances. I'm a, I'm a risk taker, you know, I'm an adrenaline junkie. I really don't care, you know, I could care less. I mean, if it kills me, it kills me. There's nothing I can do about it. But I, I wanted to get it so that way I'll be able to see my friends again. And I've been, I've gone a whole year without seeing my friends. So I wanted to get that shit. So anyway, guys, peace. Love y'all. And I'll see y'all in the next video.